welcome back to my channel. So I am following up my 10 wardrobe essentials with these 10 shoe essentials that are just gonna carry you through any walk of life. Like literally, they're gonna like carry you through any walk of life. If you guys haven't checked out those 10 wardrobe essentials, I will leave it linked below and you can also click it. Here, I do wardrobe styling on the side. I've been doing wardrobe styling whew, since I can remember. And as a wardrobe assistant, that was kind of my duty, was to pick out the shoes. Like we would find, you know, the hero dress, like this is the dress that's gonna be worn. And I would go to different showrooms, different stores, and choose the jewelries and bags and shoes to really complete the outfit. So I feel like I definitely have some expertise. I always feel so weird to kind of like give myself a pat on the back, but I'm just letting you guys know because I'm not going to do like this is my style, like these are my shoes. I'm kind of treating this video as like a general guide and as if I were styling you, like as if you were my client. Shoes can definitely add a lot of personality and that's when like your personal style comes in, I feel like is in shoes and accessories. Like you can dress up any of those basics that I talked about in that first video. With shoes and accessories, you can literally transform those basics into what your steez is. So shoes, I kind of waited a while on because I'm like, they're so like your style. But then I was thinking like, no, these shoes that I'm gonna share with you guys today are reliable, you're not gonna look dated, you're always gonna look chic, you're always gonna have some shoe to wear with whatever wardrobe item you have at home. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started because that was a long-winded introduction. Okay, so starting with essential number one, white plain sneaker. So Converse, like these Chuck Taylors are such a classic item. They've literally been around forever and I don't see them going out anytime soon. You can literally wear them with anything you want. Shorts, jeans, dresses, skirts. It's the type of sneaker that you probably don't need to get rid of. So these are definitely like a repurchasable sneaker that is gonna carry you through life. I really love Converse. Another shout out that I did want to mention was Adidas, Adidas superstars again have been around forever. I know they do seem a little bit trendy right now, but my dad has literally been wearing them since he was in high school and he has not let go of them, so I'm just gonna throw that out there as well. The Stan Smiths are another one that I feel like are really nice. I really love to wear these ones over the Converse with like trousers. I wear trousers a lot and I like to like wear blazers and stuff like that and I feel like this is like a sleeker shoe that I can get away with it as well as even with like dresses and stuff like slip dresses I'll put on like a pair of these sneakers and I feel like because they're so sleek they don't make my feet look bulky or they don't draw too much attention to my feet I am still able to like really carry my outfit the way I wanted it to be presented so in that blog post I definitely have some affordable options for sneakers I feel like they already like these kind of are already affordable. Right now, because the Stan Smiths are so popular, you'll definitely be able to find some budget-friendly ones. I think these were like $70. For me, that's like within my budget and I feel like it's a reasonable price. If you wanna go for like a higher end, I also have some higher end suggestions for you. I'm very used to being around high-end shoes. Not necessarily are they in my closet, but through the clients that I work with and just being around like, you know, we mainly shop at like Barney's, Neiman's, that kind of thing, so I'm very, very familiar in the luxury shoe world. So I think the Common Projects are a really great pair if you're looking for like a nice streamlined white sneaker at a higher end bougie level. <laughs> so my next shoe essential is a loafer. So loafers are definitely trending right now. More so the loafer slides like without the backing, thanks to Gucci. These ones I've owned forever. These are from Zara. They're real leather, so they've really lasted me and they're still relevant. That's what I'm saying about these essentials. All the shoes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in this video are still gonna be relevant five years, 10 years from now. They're just like those classic items that I feel like are reliable. Say if you have an office job, you can always use a loafer with the back. I don't know what the rules are anymore. I legit have not had a office -y job in my entire life. I don't know how fancy you have to go, but I feel like a loafer is a nice like conservative shoe and you'll look really really put together and black is great. If you can go for another one, maybe brown is another really great option. So loafers are definitely a good idea to invest in. The Gucci loafers of course are my pick if you want to go for like a higher end if you have some money and you want to invest in a good pair of shoes. But definitely go for the one with the back because we don't know how long this little like slide moment is going to be around. Say if you're saving up that coin and you know you're just going to splurge on a 
trendy item. I don't really think that's the smartest idea. Definitely don't go for the fur one if that's the only one you're able to buy. If you can buy multiple ones, then yeah, definitely like go for it. But if you're only like gonna pick one, you know, luxury shoe, then do the Gucci loafer with the back. And then you can always get like these budget ones if you're really into this look. These are from Topshop, I didn't pay much for them. It still gives you that look if you really, really wanna try out that trend. So classics of the moment. But a loafer is a shoe that's not gonna let you down. So my next essential is the ballet flat. Where I would wear a ballet flat, I tend to replace with the loafer. That's just my style. But maybe your style isn't my style and you like more of a like a feminine ballet flat. I think they're so cute. I do have some, but not many, and I don't really even wear these ones. These are supposed to be like Miu Miu knockoffs. I got them at Zara, and I really, really love them, and I love to wear them with jeans. I love to wear them with like black pants. They're just super cute when you wanna be comfortable and still wear a flat but not necessarily a sneaker, you want to like look a little bit more pulled together, then yeah, I would definitely reach for a ballet flat. This is kind of like a bad example because these are so trendy, but if you were to just Hey, maybe I can cut them when they no longer serve me. So if I were to just get rid of all these like straps and stuff, I think that just a black classic ballet flat is the way to go. I know there's a ton of budget friendly ones. So my next essential is a sandal. I could literally get away with just wearing these in the summertime because they go with everything. And I really think when you're looking for your like staple sandal, go for like a color that's like closest to you. Like I, I wouldn't say this is nude, it's more like a brown. Um, because I'm brown. <laughs> it really helps lengthen your legs and they kind of become invisible where they're not distracting to your outfit and your outfit can really stand out and I feel like a brown sandal definitely goes with like all those colors that we see in the summer. Like we definitely see a lot more color in the summer with your reds, with your pinks, like greens and turquoises, yellow, all those colors that maybe black will be too harsh with. That's why I always like tend to go for a nude type of sandal and also with like a nice sleek shape so this one only has two straps if you're more into like a thong shape you can do that as well like really any kind of like style but try to keep it as sleek as you can that way it's super flattering on you and then as well as like it won't really distract from your outfit so the next shoe essential is a Chelsea boot so my like booties has a bit of a heel to it I, I need a heel in my life I love a heel because I feel like it just makes it a little bit more versatile and I personally can walk in a heel. Like these are so comfortable to me so I can definitely like withstand them throughout the day. I feel like a Chelsea boot just makes any look instantly cool. I resort to these when going out with my friends a lot. I like prefer them over wearing heels. These are just like so so comfortable and I love them. Unfortunately they are no longer available. I've had them for years. They're from Zara but I have some really really incredible options that are similar to this for anyone's like budget from luxury to budget. So Definitely check those out if you are crazy about these like I am. <laughs> I'm also gonna share these ones with you really quick. So these are like more like moto ankle booties. Again, from Zara. So many of my shoes are from Zara. Definitely look at Zara, and especially when they have their sale, because I get a lot of shoes when they're on sale like that, because then they're like $50 or something. And they're like quality leather, so they've really lasted me. Like again, I've had these for such a long time. And it's so funny because I'll be like at Saks or like Neiman's or something like that, and all these like older like rich women are like, like, ooh, who makes your shoes? And I'm like, oh, Zara, like, they don't look cheap to me. If they can fool a Beverly Hills housewives, like, girl, they can fool anybody. I feel like Zara is a really great place to look for shoes if you're, like, willing to spend 80 to 150 if that's, like, in your budget range. And if you can wait for, like, a sale, you'll definitely get some really cool shoes for, like, 40 $50. Because, look, I hear you. I know a lot of people always put Zara in the budget. In comparison, if I'm looking at spending a thousand dollars on an Yves Saint Laurent one, yeah, a hundred dollars is not that much, but if you're a student, then a hundred dollars is a lot, and I've been there and I hear you. You gotta do some digging and look for these sales. Look at quality still, but just look for sales. Go to Nordstrom Rack, go to TJ Maxx, go to Marshalls. Those kind of retailers that have discounted goods are the way to find like better quality shoes at a budget. So moving into heels, my next essential is an ankle strap sandal 
heel. So something like this. These are such a staple. Even when we're styling clients and stuff, it's like, hmm, what shoe? It's always something like this. Like, this shape is just super flattering. They're really comfortable. These are the Stuart Weitzman Nudist. I feel like they're dressy enough to wear to weddings or dinners or parties. I don't know, whatever like fancy little event that you guys got going on in your life. I feel like they're suitable for that. Yet, you can still wear them with like denim, which is so nice. You can really wear these with like anything. I would definitely say do black in this type of style, but also get a nude pair as well. So then you can wear them with, you know, the colors again that maybe black looks too harsh with, like yellows or orange, like you don't want to look like Halloween-y, I guess. That's when like the nudes come into play. They're just so reliable, and if you have those two, like I said, you are covered in all your dresses and all your special events because they're just so, so beautiful and chic and sleek and I love them so much. How many times did I say that? They're so sexy, I can like lick them. So my next essential is a black pump. So when you can't wear an open toe, I would say you can always use a black pump. And what's really, really nice about this one, it doesn't have any kind of strap, obviously, so it's not going to cut your leg off and you are going to have legs for days. Kind of like my favorite way to look a little bit longer and leaner. You can really wear these with whatever you want. I love wearing them more with pantsuits is when I pull out my pumps as opposed to the ankle strap ones, but of course you can wear them with dresses as well. Or you can wear them with denim, you know, you can just put these on, black denim, put these on for like a dinner or a date, I don't know what you guys are doing. And then also, same thing as the ankle strap, you can get them in black and you can get them in nude. So yeah, these are not my favorite, they're so sensible and like me meek, but they have gotten me through a few outfit situations where I was like a nude pump is perfect so they came through and then again with nude I will say what I like about these is that it kind of matches like the tone of my legs like my legs are a little bit darker so it just makes my legs look like extra long I'm only 5'1 so I use every short girl hack in the book I do want to buy a luxury nude pump because the thing with pumps is I'm gonna be completely frank and honest with you pumps can really really take an outfit south so you really have to pay attention to the way the pitch is in comparison to the heel height as well as like the point and how much like toe cleavage you're showing I would suggest looking at the Gian Vito Rossi they make the perfect pump. They are so sexy. I don't know why Christian Louboutin always gets the most praise for their pumps. Like, dude, they are so uncomfortable. They are, like, notoriously uncomfortable. Every client is like, get those away from me. They'll wear them because they're free. They're really beautiful shoes. Like, Christian Louboutin, my god. Beautiful, gorgeous, but uh, they're so uncomfortable. It's almost not worth spending that money to be uncomfortable. I personally would go for the Gian Vito Rossi ones. They're really sleek. I really want to get them in black, but especially nude. I feel like black pumps, you can get away with like a cheaper pair, but nude is so hard to fake the funk. Like these, I mean, you can even tell. So be very selective with the pump that you do choose. I think the brand Shoots or Shuts, they make really, really great shoes as well. They're more in like the $200 range. I mean, they're not $1,000 like the Gian Vito Rossi, but they're still going to give you that look. And they also have really great ankle strap options as well. So moving on to my next essential is a platform. So platforms are like heels on training wheels. They are so amazing for those of you guys who don't really love heels. Platforms are your best friends, I swear, because it gives you some height here it kind of cuts off what the actual heel height is so it looks like it's you know like a three and a half inch heel when really it's like half of that because of the platform and this is just like a baby platform there are some other ones that have like a really nice high platform um, I really love these ones again just to like look a little bit more conservative and classy and chic these are actually from H&M that's what I mean you can kind of get away with like a cheap black heel but if it was in any other color I think it would start getting a little bit sus. I think a platform is a really great way to add height 
if you're wearing like a wide leg trouser just put a nice thick platform heel and you are gonna look like again legs for days so so flattering I myself love doing that it's such a sneaky way of like adding that height so I really love a platform and also I feel like platforms really just like take up your dress like up a few notches I don't know I feel like it kind of like dresses it up just a little bit more with platforms I would say like black of course nude white but also this brings me into my next essential which is metallic so I have these ones here and I did get them in a platform these are kind of like my go-to's when I know I'm gonna be on my feet all day whether it's like an event like a wedding a quinceanera I've actually worn these to my sister's wedding. I was wearing like a maxi dress so it really like lengthened me. And I was wearing navy so that's why I'm bringing up metallics. I feel like metallics are such a great like color or finish, whatever you want to call it, to have in your shoe collection because for those like dresses and those colors that you're not sure like black doesn't seem to go but then also nude maybe it makes it look too daytime. You want something a little bit more flashy and like more dressy. I say grab a metallic whether it be silver, pewter, rose gold gold anything you want but anything that has that kind of like metallic sheen on it it's gonna instantly dress up your outfit so yeah for those like colors like navy like I know black and navy is some people are still not comfortable wearing them together I personally think it's fine to do it it just kind of depends on the way it's more definitely have to see what I'm working with but metallic is definitely like a nice safe way to wear navy and again these ones were in that nice like classic style the ankle strap style so I can really really wear them with anything I want so I think that's like a good style to go for so you can also do a metallic in the daytime so these are from Chinese laundry which I'm actually doing something really fun with them over on my Instagram so if you're not following me be sure to follow me over on there there is a post waiting for you so if you want to enter the contest so I really love to add like pops of metallic into my wardrobe like these maybe a block heel isn't your style you can do like a metallic slide a metallic sneaker I personally have a metallic sneaker sneaker as well. I have like these metallic Nikes that I love to pair with jeans and a t-shirt and I just feel like something so basic like that I'm able to kind of have like a pop. Kind of gives you a little more style and without it being dated or looking like cheesy or anything like that I feel like metallics are going to be around forever and they're just like a really nice fun way to add a little bit of personality. So the next essential is a mule. Again, these ones are from Chinese Laundry. Maybe you're wondering like, yo, Amy, you don't have wedges in here. But that's because I don't think wedges really are an essential. Where you would put a wedge in is where I would replace it with a mule. I feel like a mule is a little bit more chic and sleek and you can get away with pairing it with a lot more outfits than a wedge can. Especially in nude, like when I think of a wedge, I always think of it being nude for some reason or like brown <laughs> because you like to wear wedges with like your sundresses and stuff like that. So a mule you can still wear with like your sundresses, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with skirts, you can wear them with denim, you can even wear them with trousers where I feel like a wedge you just I think it would look so weird. So I would say these are more of an essential. I feel like this is the epitome of like cute but cash. You know when you're like talking with your friends and they're like, what are you wearing? Or like, how are you going dressed? And it's like, oh, you know, like cute but cash. Like this is the epitome of that. So I feel like they're definitely essential. And I think they're so cute for again, like brunch or even like dates. Like it's not trying too hard. I feel like these are definitely more like of a summer staple. But I also have some in black that I also wore the crap out of. And I really, really love these. So these these are like for when I feel like a nude doesn't go but I need a black and then these ones are also closed toe so I've even worn these in the winter but then again I am in Southern California so I can kind of get away with things like that. So those are the 10 essentials that I feel like will always have your back if you have an outfit and you're like I don't know what to wear with da da da. Definitely refer back to these 10 shoes because I am confident that any of these will most likely go with that outfit that you have in mind I have to say. So give it a try, but I also have three more shoes that I wanted to share with you guys. Like I am a shoe fanatic, and like I said, I've been around so 
many shoes <laughs> that, um, yeah, I really know the market. So I feel like one shoe that will instantly make you feel like a badass is an over-the-knee boot. So these are a great staple to include in your shoe closet. Although they may seem like a little extra and a little bit much, they're actually not. Like, I'm so not like an extra type of person, but these just make me feel so like, I don't know, it's so crazy how like a shoe can make you feel like empowered. <laughs> these make me feel freaking empowered, maybe because I feel like a super hero in them. I really love wearing them with mini dresses. I love wearing them with like a tighter fitting jean and just wearing them over my jeans. I'm all about versatility so I feel like this one I can definitely take from day to night and I just feel like they look super cool so maybe that's something to also look into adding to your closet. So another mention is animal print. So same goes with like the metallics so where you can kind of choose like what category whether it be like sneakers, mules, or boots, whatever you want. I feel like animal print, whether it's leopard or snake, is such a neutral and it's just like a nice way to add a little bit more fun and personality where again it's like a neutral enough print or like a classic enough print where even five years from now it'll still be relevant. So I have these like snake skin uh, booties here. Again, when I don't really want to wear like a black booty because maybe what I'm wearing is like super plain or I just want to like amp it up a few levels, I'll do this and I just feel like it automatically gives me a little bit more steez. So that's definitely something to consider as well. If you don't want to do a booty, you can definitely do like a loafer or maybe you do like a leopard sneaker. Whenever you want to like elevate your style just a little bit without much effort. This whole video, actually my whole life is about like zero effort. It makes it look like you tried but you really didn't. That's my whole thing. So my last essential is a pair of workout shoes. Oh look, speaking of animal print, I have leopard workout shoes. What's really cool about workout shoes right now is they're kind of having their moment. It's like for the past couple years, like it's all about athleisure, right? So it's super common to see even the trendiest cool girl in the world wear their workout shoes. So they can be wearing like a denim jacket, a little crop top and jeans, and then they'll have like workout shoes, like that's such a norm. Or they'll have like the track pants and like workout shoes and like a little button down or something like that. So yeah, workout shoes are kind of having their moment, but they're just an essential because they are gonna help promote healthy living for you. I hope you guys are working out. So yeah, you guys can take it from PE to the streets. So that is the end of my shoe essentials. So these 13 shoes are really going to carry you, like I said, through any walk of life, for any event, for any of your outfit needs. These guys got your back for sure. They may not be like the statement making, fun, party loving, what am I talking about? You know what I mean? Like they're not anything super, super special. They're kind of boring. But they are reliable and they got your back, girl. So you can refer to these whenever you're like, oh, I don't know what to wear with this dress that I just bought. Just kind of look at these shoes. I'm sure something from here will work out for that outfit. But aside from these classics, I do urge you to experiment with shoes. Shoes are such a great way to add your personality into your outfit. Like if you're wearing a little black dress, a black leather jacket, and a black pump, it's cute, you're gonna look chic, you're gonna look put together, you're gonna look cool, but imagine if you had like a bitchy heel, like something strappy or whatever. It's just gonna really elevate that dress. So don't think, and I'm sure you guys don't even think this, but just don't think that you have to stick to these shoes to have like a good wardrobe, because not at all. Shoes is when your personality comes into play, so definitely experiment, have fun with fashion. That's what it's all about. These are just like the safety guides when you're like, I don't know what to wear. So please subscribe if you did like this video and you're into more like styling videos because there are definitely more coming. I heard you guys and I'm so excited to keep sharing my knowledge of fashion with you guys. And I don't know, just like we're gonna have fun with fashion together. So I'm super, super excited about that. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.